So the next evening, I walked up, I saluted the judge for the last time of my Olympic career, and I held my hands over the top of the beam that night for just a couple of extra seconds, took an extra deep breath, and I knew that I just wanted to enjoy the moment. I think that beam routine was probably the fastest 90 seconds of my entire career, and all of a sudden I was at the end of the beam, arms raised high, ready for the dismount, said a little prayer, please God, let me land on my feet tonight. And I hurtled toward the end of the beam, one twist, two flips, and when I fell, my feet hit the floor and I realized I was standing up. It was just the most amazing feeling, this mix of emotions, the joy, the excitement, the relief. And I saw my coach jumping up and down on the sidelines and I think I saluted the judge, but who knows at that point. I didn't know what the score was. If there was a medal, what color it might be. I just wanted to live in that moment. If I'm ever in doubt about the importance of setting long-term and short-term goals, about getting back up after a fall, about believing in ourselves and what we can accomplish when we persevere, all I have to do is think of that moment. Over the years, I've been asked what I was thinking, standing up there that evening, finally getting that individual gold medal. And that's a very easy answer because all I could think of standing up there was Thank you. Thank you to this incredible team of, of people that worked for years to help me achieve that goal, to accomplish that dream. It doesn't happen in a vacuum. And I think oftentimes when we think of team, we think of you know maybe a sports team, Olympic, professional, we think of all those athletes all wearing the same uniform out on the field of play, but the team is so much more broad than that. It always is. And my, my team always included my parents and, and how much they supported me in every way. My, my coaches and how hard they worked each day. My community where I grew up. My teachers who helped me stay up with my education while chasing this Olympic dream. And the list goes on and on. Teamwork is critical. And working together is essential to our success. And I think understanding and identifying who is on your team is so important. We have to constantly ask ourselves, who are those people around us that we can lean on in times of need? Who is it that helps you do and be your very best? After I retired from Olympic competition, I think I lost a little bit of that um, understanding of teamwork. You know, I retired at the ripe old age of 19 and I hadn't yet applied it to life outside gym. That all quickly changed in January of 2011. A couple of months uh, before that, my doctor had found a baseball size cyst on my left ovary. And after weeks of, of tests and, and scans and trying to figure out what was going on, I woke up from surgery to find out that, yes, it was cancer, a rare form of ovarian cancer. They had caught it early, but I would need to go through a pretty aggressive chemotherapy regimen. And I think at that point, there was a shift in my mentality. I kind of went from this um, complete loss of control, being able to handle nothing. I, I didn't know what the future would hold or if there would be one, to reverting back to some of that competitive mentality that I knew so well through sport. Um, we had a plan. You know, I didn't know exactly where I was gonna end up, but I knew that there were some things I could wake up and be in charge of each day. So leading up to chemo, I couldn't do much physically, but I figured I, I would have the mental game down. I focused on mindset and I thought I was doing pretty good. Then the first week of chemotherapy happened and it was harder than I ever imagined. I couldn't keep down food or water. I was back in the hospital, hooked up to um, all kinds of um, machines and went through I don't know how many nausea medications. And that evening, my, my husband had taken our son, our 14-month-old son, to put him to bed. And it was just me in this room, this dark, quiet room. Only sound was the beeping of the machines in the background. And I just remember at that lowest point thinking, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. And at that moment, a nurse walked in. And I can't tell you what she did or said, I just remember that moment because it was as if that word team popped up. And I realized that what I had to remember was that not only did I have this great team, incredible team surrounding me, not just the medical, but friends, family, neighbors, all willing to pitch in and help out, but I was also part of that team and I needed to hold up my end as well. The thing is, you never know when one word or one act, even in the smallest of moments, may give someone hope. 
you may give them the strength to carry on. This summer, I not only celebrated the 24th anniversary of the 1996 Olympic Games, but also nine years cancer-free. And I couldn't have done either without my teams.